On Monday, the United Kingdom Parliament passed the contentious Rwanda deportation bill, marking a significant step towards its enactment into law. Despite months of opposition from various quarters, including Parliament, courts, and civil society, the bill received approval. The primary point of contention had been the concern for the human rights of asylum seekers. Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and his Conservative Party have been vigorously advocating for this legislation. The bill aims to designate Rwanda as a safe third country, compelling judges to consider it as such. Additionally, it seeks to grant decision makers handling asylum applications the authority to bypass certain provisions of international and domestic human rights laws. This move comes in response to a UK Supreme Court ruling that deems the deportation of migrants to Kigali as illegal. So, what is the bill all about? The Rwanda Deportation Bill, initially introduced by former PM Boris Johnson in 2022, allows for the potential deportation of individuals who arrived illegally in the UK after January 1, 2022 to Rwanda. Under the proposed law, asylum seekers could have their claims processed in Rwanda under a five-year agreement. Successful applicants would receive refugee status and be permitted to remain in Rwanda, while unsuccessful ones would have the option to settle there under different circumstances or seek asylum in another safe third country. Notably, no asylum seeker would be eligible to apply to return to the UK. The UK government is set to pay Rwanda a significant sum as part of the arrangement, with estimated costs totaling approximately $665 million for the deportation of the first 300 asylum seekers, as reported by the National Audit Office. Why was the bill introduced? The Rwanda deportation bill was proposed in response to growing immigration pressures in the UK, exacerbated by the Conservative Party's pledge to reduce net migration and the aftermath of Brexit. Spearheaded by Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, the bill aims to process asylum claims in Rwanda, initially accommodating a small number of migrants. However, critics argue that the plan lacks adequate consideration for human rights and poses risks of wrongful assessments and potential persecution for refugees. Despite facing legal challenges, the government remains determined to implement the legislation. To bypass this, the UK government amended the treaty. The administration said that the new treaty ensures that people who are relocated to Rwanda are not at risk of being returned to a country where their lives or freedom would be risked. The very next day, the government introduced the Safety of Rwanda Asylum and Immigration Bill. The bill declared Rwanda a safe country. This, the government acknowledged, may not be compatible with the European Convention on Human Rights. Why Rwanda? The primary reason for considering Rwanda for the asylum processing job is the lack of interest from other countries. While the UK initially explored deals with several African nations under PM Johnson's leadership, negotiations fell through. Conversely, Rwanda, led by President Paul Kagame, expressed eagerness to participate. For Kagame, this presents an opportunity to demonstrate Rwanda's recovery from civil war and colonialism, showcasing his leadership on the global platform. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.